All right, the first bonus mission is Mr. Blonde's Revenge. This is a very quick but a very tricky mission. Now, if all goes smoothly, then it should look pretty simple. But if anything goes wrong, this can get very nasty very quickly. So, to start, I'm actually not going to skip the cutscene. I found this works a little bit better with the elevator timing. This way, we should find the elevator waiting for us when we get to it, as opposed to having to wait for it for a few seconds, wasting precious cloaking time. So, let's get started. Just going to sit through the cutscene. It's a very short cutscene. Once the cutscene's done, we're going to run. Run over here to this corner. As soon as we're about to round the corner, we're going to pause on our cloaking device and take out the scatter bomb. We have 40 seconds of cloak and we need every moment of it. They're all precious. We can't afford to waste any of them. I strongly recommend using the pause menu for all of your equips in this mission. You do not have time to be messing around with the quick select menu. And you also want to practice this movement because again, cloak time is precious. I'm going to zoom through here as quick as we can, pop up the bomb, and then we got to run to the elevator. Here we go. We're going to deposit the bomb spy here. Once again, notice I'm using the pause menu for all of the equips. Speed things up a little bit, save cloak time. We're going to tuck ourselves into the back corner of the elevator where we won't be seen, so we can turn off the cloak. And I'll switch to the bomb spy. An enemy will spawn here soon. We're going to use the bomb spy to take them out. Easy. And then I'm going to tuck myself into this corner of the elevator because I don't want to be seen by anyone through the side door, side wall of the elevator. As it opens, we're going to run over to this door. As soon as we about to enter into here, we're going to turn on our cloaking again. And now I need to talk about these shock troopers. So there are five of these shock troopers. They have body armor, they have magnums, and worst of all, they have neutron bombs, which are really bad. If one of them decides to throw a neutron bomb, especially if we're in close quarters like this stairwell, we're basically screwed. It's very hard to dodge. So we would love to just take this guy out now stealthily, but unfortunately that doesn't work. For whatever reason, if you punch this guy out, the other two in the floor above will aggro instantly. I don't know how or why, it's just how it works. So we can't afford to hit this guy now as much as we would like to. So we're just gonna run past him for now, get into this elevator, close behind us, get the double falcon two. And now there's going to be two guys here. There's one here in front of us, and there's going to be another one patrolling in from the door on the right, the next stairwell. So our plan now is to get to the left of this guy in front of us and look towards the other guy in the background. We're going to shoot the near guy in the head first for a quick, easy kill, and we're going to try and use the pillar next to him for cover from the other guy, because the moment we shoot, the moment we, we decloak, the other enemy can aggro and fire almost instantly. It's very fast. So we want to have the pillar for cover if we need it, and then hopefully we can win the firefight quickly with the other guy before he has time to throw a bomb or something. Here we go. I'm gonna get over here. Yeah, he was trying to throw a bomb there. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot in a few extra shots. After you've won that fight, we're gonna run over to this corner, and I fire a few extra shots so I didn't cloak too soon. We want to get over here un uncloaked, let the cloak turn back on, and then we're gonna run into this room. Why we do that? The enemy we passed on the stairwell earlier is now aggroed because we fought these two guys. He can't get into this room, the door is locked, but he can teleport there. Like once we go into this stairwell up a bit, he's gonna somehow just magically teleport into that room and he's gonna go to the last spot in that room where we were uncloaked. So now because we went over there, hopefully he should have his back to us when we come back and we should be able to get an easy kill on him. So now we're gonna run up the stairwell a little bit that should cause him to teleport into the room. Give him some time to go over to where we were last uncloaked. And now hopefully when we open the store, we'll find him. Not quite looking at us. We can kind of get the drop on him. If you're lucky, his back will be to you. You won't always get that, but either way, you should be able to get the drop on him. Okay. And now there are just a couple left, almost done. And they are up ahead. They can see us through this door up ahead on the left. It's not a solid door. They can see and they can decide to throw a neutron bomb and you might not see it coming. So we need a few seconds of cloak left for this. Fortunately, we should have like three to four seconds left by this point. So we're going to cloak and we're going to sprint forward and kill this enemy. There should be one on the stairs here. Take him out. Take the cameras out before they can sound the alarm. And now we, should be, we don't need the cloak anymore. We can save the last couple seconds. And the fifth enemy should be patrolling through here. He's easy. 
but we need that cloak to get into this room. So we'll take him out. And now we go back for Cassandra. At this point, we're basically done. Going to cloak. If you have some cloak luck, you might as well use it to get across this bridge here. It might help a little bit. Just the tiniest bit. Get to Cassandra a little quick, quickly. Sprint forward to disarm her before she can shoot you. If you have a lot of extra cloak, you can actually get to her quickly enough to push her away from the alarm. So she won't sound the alarm here. But that's not likely. You probably won't get that. And you don't really need it. It's okay. I'm going to call the elevator back so they can't get in. So the alarm sounded. The enemies from downstairs are trying to get to us, but they have to take the elevator, and that's very slow. So we shouldn't really have to worry about them. They will not catch us by the time we get out of here. Even so, you probably want to watch your back a little bit, just in case somehow they do get there. Hurry up, Cassandra. Destroying the cameras is not necessary. But we have nothing else to do. You can kind of push Cassandra to make her run faster. I don't recommend it, especially not here on these ramps. It's possible that if you push her the wrong way, she can get stuck on the ramps and like trapped, and then you fail the mission because she can't get to the end. So I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, that's it. On to the next bonus mission. <laughs>